we shall see the glory of the nation of Nigeria realize and restore. So the prophetic word for 2023 taken from Isaiah 60 verse 1 to the end is 2023 light has come the glory is risen the glory is risen give us the sticker the glory is risen when i say 2023 you say light has come and when i say light has come you say the glory is risen 2023 light has come Ay, 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 Hey! 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 The central theme is the glory is risen. That's the central theme. But the glory is risen because light has come. Am I communicating at all? The central theme is the glory is risen. And why is the glory risen? It's because light has come. When I say 2023, you scream light has come. And when I say light has come, you say the glory is risen. 2023! Light has come! Ay, 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 ay. So when I say in your life, you say light has come, the glory is risen. In your family, light has come, the glory is risen. In the church, light has come, the glory is risen. In Dunamis church, light has come, the glory is risen. In Nigeria, light. The darkness of terrorism is over. The darkness of kidnapping is over. The darkness of banditry is over. The darkness of bad leadership is over. The, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. the glory of Nigeria is returning. The glory of our nation is returning. Did you re remember what I said? In 2023, in your life, light has come the glory in your family all right let's start it now now do it with your light on do it with your light on do it with your light on last year the glory overflow this year it rose you know when a river flow until it rises this year it rose it rose until it is not just flowing on the ground it rose upon me it rose upon you ay, 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 do you understand the connection between last year and this year the glory was overflowing it was flowing like a flood now the, the level of the flood has risen it has risen up to engulf you to engulf me your glory and my glory the glory of my life and the glory of our nation is coming back when i say in your life light has come the glory is risen in your life in your family in the church in nigeria in this church do not miss church in the nation nigeria Against the powers of kidnapping, light has come. The glory is risen. Against the powers of banditry. Against the powers of bad leadership. Against the powers of underdevelopment. Against the forces of hell. Where the light has said, light has come. And the glory of his reason. Say, my light has come. And the glory is risen. 
Where is darkness at the sound of light? Wave it, wave it, wave it. Wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it. season very very quickly what kind of season are we number one it is a season of revival explosion he said look around all they come from afar they come from afar the multitudes they shall be gathered it's a season of revival explosion Anyone who wants to see the move of God, who wants to see God deliver, heal, liberate, and do things this year, if we are ready, God was ready. A season of spiritual revival explosion. Your light has come. The glory of God is risen. Number two, it is a season of glory rise, release, and restoration. You are doing a very good work tonight, I see media. Bringing the script out as I read it. Glory rise. Glory release. Glory restoration. That is the glory of God rising upon individuals. Rising upon families. Rising upon, upon, upon churches. Rising upon nations. The glory that was stolen for a nation like Nigeria. Such a glory being restored. That is the season we are in. Number three. It's a season of light explosion. Your light has come. We are going to see things that we have never seen before. Light of scriptural revelation. Light of spiritual revelation. The things we have never seen before. Your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Number four. It shall be the season of darkness humiliation. We shall molest the powers of darkness. The powers.
powers of witchcraft, the powers of the occult, ancestral altars, generational forces, the darkness of banditry, the darkness of terrorism, the darkness of kidnapping, the darkness of corruption, the darkness of bad leadership. The Bible said the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not. I announce here tonight by the apostolic and prophetic mantle of God with which I preach tonight. I declare every darkness around your life, around my life, around the church, around our nation evaporates right now. Somebody shout glory! Shout glory five times. Two. Three. Four and five. Number six, five. It is the season of honor, dignity, distinction for the saints and for the church. He said, Kings will come to the brightness of your rising. They called you rejected, called you an outcast, but they will run and look for you. I want you to read the whole of that Isaiah chapter 60. A season of honor, a season of dignity, a season of distinction. Arise, shine, stand out, shine is distinction. Nigeria shall arise and shine again. I, I am not hearing a, 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 a louder amen. Everyone who is a victim of shame and reproach in previous years, in this year of light, in this year of the glory, I announce to you, the shame is over forever. The shame is over forever. The reproach is over forever. The disgrace is over forever. Shout the loudest, amen. Number six. Supernatural supply explosion. Normal language. Financial explosion. Like never before. He said they shall bring gold. They shall bring your dromedaries, your camels, your donkeys, your, the sheep of Tashis, the forces of the Gentiles, the wealth of the Gentiles, the kail of the Gentiles shall be converted. There shall be supernatural wisdom, divine favor, or natural divine ideas that will, be, that will occasion the transfer of massive amounts of resources for the sake of the evangelization of the earth in this end time. Anyone that is ready for God, God is ready for you. Resources like you never knew before is coming into the church. Expand, expand, expand your coast. Number seven is the submission of royalties and nobles. People who are, who we call royalty, nobility. It is kings that shall attend to us. Kings shall submit unto the authority of the church royalties, rulers, as we step from nation to nation, as you move even in your personal life and assignment, as you carry this risen glory, important people, valuable people will recognize the hand of God on your life and submit to that hand. Number seven, eight is the season of supernatural flight. He said, who are these that fly? Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8. That is, your life has been on the ground floor for a long time. I am anointed to announce you are taking off in the air. Nigeria has been grounded for a long time. Grounded for a long time. Grounded for a long time. We are in the season where this nation shall take off from the ground level. And people shall wonder. Listen. They will say, so this kind of money has been in this country. So it is possible for road to walk. To travel and no pothole. For schools to walk. 
and people don't have to travel out of the country to go and school, then they will begin to curse the leaders that once led us. Curse them, curse their generation. So these people know what is good and they refuse to do it for us. So it is possible for light to walk. It's possible for rail to walk and not be ambushed by terrorists. It's possible for terrorism to finish. God shall use Nigeria as a miracle to the world. They will see a miracle that is rare. That a, a nation can go to 